everyone, my name is Miss Wallace and today we're going to be doing our second lesson on non-locomotive movements. Now, non-locomotive movements are movements where you're moving your body but staying in one spot. So I want you to find the space in your room and make sure you're not going to bump or touch anything. Okay, so again we're going to be learning six new non-locomotive movements. So the first move that we're going to do is static kicks. That's where we're staying in our one spot and bringing our legs out and kicking. So I'm alternating legs. Once you think you can see what I'm doing and you know what to do, I want you to give this a go. So I'm moving my leg up and down. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what my legs are doing. So you can see I'm staying in one spot, but I'm moving my legs. Very good. Okay. So now we're going to move on to our second move, which is arm circling. Now with this, we're going to bring our arms up and around. Up and around. Up and around. Now I want you to give this a go. So we bring our arms up and around in big circles. You can see that I'm not moving from my one spot. I am just moving my arms. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this, go backwards and do our arms backwards. So again, around and around and around. Circling your arms. I'll turn to the side so you can have a look at this. Very good. Okay, we are now going to move on to move number three. So this is called reach for the sky. So we're going to reach our arms up, go on our tiptoes and reach for the sky. See, I am reaching for the sky. Now I'm going to move a little bit back just so you can see what my feet are doing. I'm going up and reaching for the sky. You can see that when I'm going up, I'm on my tiptoes. Up and reaching for the sky. Now make sure you give this a go as well. Reaching up to the sky. Very good. Now our next move, which is move number four, is touching our toes. So I'm going to bend down all the way and touch my toes. You can see that I'm not moving my body. I'm not moving around. I'm just moving my body. So I'm touching my toes, moving down, touching my toes. Now, it's okay if you can't reach your toes, just see how far you can go. So again, to the side, I'm touching my toes. Touching my toes. Very good. I stood in that one spot to touch my toes. Now, our next one is called elbows in and out. So this is where we're going to bring our elbows in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Now why don't you give this a go as well? So again, we're bringing our elbows in and out. In and out, in and out. You can see that my elbows are like this when I am out. In and out, in and out. Remember to stay in that one spot. And our last movement, movement number six, is going to be feet apart, feet together. So again, we have to stay in our one spot, so I'm just going to move one leg. So I'm going to... So I'm just moving back so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move my feet one foot out and then back. Out and back. Out and back. You can also do it on the other side if you would like. Have a go with me. Out and back. Out and back. Out and back. So those are our six 
non-locomotor movements. Remember, that's where you're moving your body by staying in one spot. Now, like last week, why don't you play a game of mirror? Find a person in your family that can play it with you. Show them the video so you can play. Have a look if you forget how to play this game. Have a look at last week's video where I played a game with Mrs. Pruss. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. I'm looking forward to seeing and hearing how you found it and if you found any of the movements difficult or if you found any of the movements easy. Have a great day, everyone.